Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So there's new flash footage, so I'm gonna do a breakdown. And because they've been kind of weird with the way that I use footage, I'm gonna just break this up a little bit. There's some weird rules about posting trailers on YouTube. So, so if you ever see me using or not using footage, there's actually a really good reason for it. Real quick reminder too, new round of the reverse flash ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. But the important thing here is that they kind of explain the relationship that Jay Garrick is gonna have with Barry this season. He's gonna be kind of like a mentor. Now, in the comics, usually Jay Garrick is a much older person. He's still much older than Barry, but our version of Barry is like a 20-something Barry. He's not the 30, 40-something Barry that we usually see in the comics. So everybody's aged down just a little bit. There's also some behind-the-scenes footage of them showing how Jay Garrick's gonna look running. It looks like his lightning is exactly like Barry's. He's like the Earth 2 version of Barry. There's no Barry Allen Flash on Earth 2. And it looks like they're actually doing the Flash of Two Worlds comic book cover scene. I think that's kind of funny. Usually it's really awesome when they pay attention to details like that, as long as they don't do it too much. Like, they're not gonna do something like that every single episode. It's just that introducing Jay Garrick is one of the biggest things the show has ever done, so it's perfect for doing a very over-the-top comic book moment like this. This, of course, is Patty Spivett. They talk a little bit about her in the sneak peek and what's going on with her and Barry. She's gonna be Joe's new partner. Remember, R.I.P. Eddie, pour a drink out for him. She'll be a new romantic interest for Barry for however long. They, obviously, they said that things like that don't last. So, like, if you're not a big fan of Oliver and Felicity on Arrow, that's also probably not going to last for forever either. One of the most fun things is watching them explore relationships, you know, getting really comfortable with that, and then just yanking the rug out from under everyone. Iris's storyline this year is probably going to be much more rewarding because it's not going to be based all about her feelings about Barry. She's still working at the paper, so hopefully we're going to see a lot of Linda Park when she's around too. And speaking of relationships, obviously Firestorm's going to be in the first couple of episodes. I don't know how many exactly, but it seems like they're holding off on the Killer Frost stuff. So I'm wondering if something weird is going to happen with their relationship around mid-season and it's going to push Caitlyn over the edge. I'm just, I'm not going to hold my breath for Killer Frost the first half of the season. They've already got all their new characters they have to introduce, all their new comic book characters, and the Legends of Tomorrow characters that they have to debut. So if you're wondering why we don't see Grodd and we don't see Killer Frost and some of the other big stuff the first half of the season, it's just because there's so many other things that they're already trying to do. I'm really digging the action with Jay Garrick. I think that he and Barry are going to have a lot of fun. Like, Barry's kind of riding high. He's still kind of depressed about Eddie dying. So I think that Jay Garrick showing up in his life is going to give him renewed purpose, especially this mission to defeat Zoom. I've still been seeing a lot of questions about Zoom and Professor Zoom. I, th I think a lot of people who haven't read the comics don't understand that those are two different characters. So when people talk about Zoom, they're not talking about Professor Zoom, Eobard Thawne. They're talking about Hunter Zolomon. Now that's not who Zoom of the TV show is going to be. And, and both those characters have yellow suits. They look very similar. So the TV show is just going to change what Zoom looks like so that he doesn't look like the season one reverse Flash, Eobard Thawne. But even though we don't see him in a lot of these trailers, Harrison Wells will be a part of Season 2. It's just that he'll be from Earth 2. He'll be the Earth 2 Harrison Wells. That's why I think in this scene they're all making WTF faces, because they, they turn around and they see Harrison Wells and they're like, Oh my god, didn't we just see you die? Aren't you the reverse Flash? And then, and then Jay Garrick walks in and explains, and we see Caitlyn put his helmet back on. Seriously, this is going to be so awesome. Also really important is Martin Stein here. Now, Cisco is kind of like the explainer character. He takes really complex scientific explanations and makes them into pop culture references and jokes. So Martin Stein is probably going to be the one to explain the multiverse and then Cisco will be making all the jokes about it. A couple of things that we haven't seen in any of the trailers yet are Jesse Quick and Wally West. Now, they cast Wally West a long time ago, so they probably just have footage of him they don't want to release yet. They, they want to keep that a surprise. But Jesse Quick was cast relatively late, but they should still have her in the first couple of episodes. And no, I don't think that all of them are going to be speedsters in the first season. Just because they're speedsters in the comics doesn't mean they're going to be speedsters right away. Wally West, Iris West, Jesse Quick, Linda Park, all of them have had speed force powers in the comics at various points. But the TV show isn't going to be doing powers for everyone all at the same time. That would make it so not a special thing. Everybody is not allowed to be special. If you ever saw The Incredibles, that's the explanation. Everybody can't be special. If everyone's special, then by default, no one is special. So for at least the first half of the season, I think the only people we're going to see with Speed Force powers are Big Bad Zoom, Jay Garrick, Barry Allen, maybe Wally West. What I'd really like to see is like at the mid-season finale, we see another lightning accident and Wally West gets his powers. But you guys can let me know, of all the new characters, which of them do you want to see get Speed Force powers? Or do you think that none of them are going to get Speed Force powers in Season 2? I know a lot of you guys have also been asking about Arrow Season 4 footage. Still waiting on more stuff from that. They've been posting a whole bunch of Flash stuff, but there just hasn't been a lot of Arrow stuff posting. 
The DVDs did go on sale today, so for those of you that are waiting for Flash and Arrow to hit Netflix, it should happen in the next couple of weeks. Warner Brothers did this thing last year where they held off on Netflix to the weeks before the show aired. The reasoning is, is that they don't want to cannibalize their DVD sales. They make a ton of money on DVD sales. And if they put it on Netflix, then it's like, why do you need to buy the DVDs? So whatever, they'll be on Netflix pretty soon anyway. I think Gotham Season 1 actually just hit Netflix too. So if you haven't seen Gotham Season 1 yet, you can check it out on Netflix. I'm hoping for some Arrow Season 4 footage tomorrow, but just in case it doesn't post, I'm still going to do an Arrow Flash related video. And I'll, I'll name the winner of this week's giveaway in that video. And I also, I almost forgot, Gotham actually just confirmed that it's doing Court of Owls in Season 2. So if you ever wanted a reason to watch Gotham, that's it. Court of Owls, one of the best Batman stories of the last 10 years. So while you guys wait for all that stuff to post, you can click here for my Gotham Season 2 Episode 1 video, and you can click here for the latest Supergirl trailer breakdown. They just have some of the comic book characters in it. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.